Okie dokie. Yeah, this is uh, partial dollar store stuff and a bit of the grocery store stuff. Um, well, I'll get maybe the grocery store stuff over with. I don't know if you guys have ever had yellow beets, but um, I rave about them. And um, I mentioned to Rob, actually, well, I, uh, Rob had some of my um, roast veg stuff the last time we did uh, the game thing, I think. I think it was the last one. Um, and... Um, yeah, I had it with like carrots and uh, sweet potato and whatnot and spiced it up with some stuff. And he was like, holy moly, never had yellow beets before. Um, they're just wonderful. I'm, uh, yeah, they're delicious. Um, yeah, and I only get them at one store. So uh, uh, I mentioned to Rob I was going to snag some for him so that way he can uh, have them. Also, I don't know if you guys ever can see these, get these at the store, but these are wonderful. Oh my gosh, they're good. Um the lady at the store there is like, oh, yeah, you're the one who keeps buying them all the time. Uh, they really are. Uh, or maybe I even mentioned this in a previous video. And if I had, I'm glad I did because they really are good. I don't, I tried the black labeled ones. They're not, I don't, I didn't enjoy them as much. But, uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, anyways, I'm so glad they they had them in stock. The dollar store has these things, too, in a box. And, um they're awesome. I really enjoyed these ones. The fruit mixed berry one is, uh, I did not like that one at all. Um, but, uh, like the lady says at the dollar store, wow, at least someone's buying them. Um, they're wonderful. Um, yeah, these things, it's just more, more for an embellishment type of a stuff, I think. Um, yeah, I just, these are rub on transfers. I was like, oh, I'm going to see if I can, I don't know, do something with them. I may never do them. They may just go straight to Zoe or whatever, but they're pretty nice looking things. And of course that was like another stencil. Had some hex, hex stuff. You know what was amazing? It blows me away uh, when I was starting to make, uh, draw the hexes. How many times I went straight to doing a, um, a pentagon. I was like, holy moly, what's going on here? Or uh, an octagon. It was just like, holy geez. Anyways, um, I wanted to try also this canvas, this artist canvas uh, paper. I want to see if I can do something with it. Um, see if there's some way I've, I can... Uh, I don't know, maybe use it as a play aid or uh, see what see how resilient it is for as a game as a um, as an actual um, some kind of uh, w uh, a different version of a mole. Um, uh, what do they call those things? Mounted maps. Uh, a different way of doing a mounted map. Like maybe use this instead of that other uh, whatever. I don't know. I'm just like I said. I'm trying to figure things out. This, I wish I had known what the hell this was years ago. I've been walking by these things all this time, man, for years. I'm not kidding you. For years, I thought this was incense. So I just didn't even, I just walked right by it. I'm not kidding you. And I don't know what the hell made me look. And I went, what the hell? It says vinyl removable paper, vinyl permanent paper. I was like, oh my God. I just feel like, um, I'm not kidding. Well, 15, 20 years, maybe. I've been wandering, walking by these things, just assuming they were incense. Um, this, I saw her, and I was like, well, I'm going to turn you into Christine Sinclair for sure. Um, at least that maybe that'll be my, my painting thing. Uh, yeah, she'll be transformed into Sin Christine Sinclair. If you don't know who Sin Christine Sinclair is, well, I don't know. Such is life. Uh, this, they just looked interesting to me. That's just like, and I guess partially with the, um, um, you know, the hissy cat, um, postcard uh, thing challenge uh, postcard jam and all that I was like hmm I don't know I just you know what I mean still got that vibe to it I was just like I, it doesn't even matter I just just has a game vibe to it this um well it just said on the thing I was like oh my goodness I'm um, gonna give it well of course it had that there I was like you don't I mean that's a pretty good enticement for me or any gamer I would assume and then it said um two-sided paper strips ideal for punching and die cutting projects and this is uh, essentially the width of my rinky-dink little, uh, oh, I shouldn't call it rinky-dink, it's a bloody, it's kind of like this, the um, die-cutting and embossing version of um, uh, The Defiant, you know what I mean, for Star Trek. It's just a kick-ass, uh, oh, I love that thing. Anyways, this uh, came in, Charles, I'll give it a shot later, remember I was uh, yabbering on about uh, thin-cut uh, dies? So this one came in because I want to give it a shot to see if I can... Um, uh, play with my transfer tape and make a, like I said, a kind of like a film reel um, thing for my historical thing. Like, and and use uh, and use iFrame view uh, the image uh, viewer thingamajig and um, use the sepia um, uh, color effect and see if I can start making some vintage looking 
uh, whatevers, and I found a ton of royalty-free, um, uh, anybody can, cinematic, uh, cinematic music and what, anyways, I'm just, you know, come on, man, I, like I said, I've, uh, that's where, that's where I want my mind to go. These things were, um, I was like, wow, I'm going to pick them up. They, I'll be honest with you, they don't look as good as yours, Charles, uh, obviously, the uh, your handmade resin water stuff. But I was like, wow, i got to pick them up. I'm going to pick up two just in case because I can always share, like give it to someone else. Um, and I wanted to see what they looked like to scale. So I grabbed a couple of my ye old. Um, this is way, way back when I really just started painting and I was just doing... Um, Oh my God, Zoe probably couldn't even remember. But this is the first time I was getting back into painting. So this was, oh God, 20 something years ago. And, um, you know, I'll move them out of the side. But you can see they're to scale. So that's not too bad. Um, so these are 28 millimeter dudes. I can't remember them. But anyways, you can see all the little guys I got, the, uh, the wood and stuff. So this is a part of my, one of my monster dudes. Uh, or, you know, um, I think I was saying I have like a, so these are the reptilian dudes. So he would be my like um, one of the the reptilian uh, shaman type guys. I really like him. So that's all Art Deco paint and uh, whatnot. Um, gosh Almighty, hey, that was years, and but it's fun as hell to do. Um, yeah. Let's see. I don't know if you can. He's coming out good or not, but I'll find out later, I guess. Do I have to turn on the light? I wonder if that would help. There, maybe that'll help. Anyways, yeah, so I'm really happy with this guy. Um, you can see the nice little eyebrows and all that funk, funky stuff. Um, yep, uh, I don't know if it's coming in uh, well. And these guys, he's probably my all-time favorite. I'm not saying he's my favorite painted, but uh, maybe he is, actually. I, oh, darn it, I really liked him. Um, the, his name's Ixta, and uh, he's based on a, um, a Doctor Who character from Doctor Who and the Aztecs. But uh, those are his three skeleton. Gosh, I remember painting these guys so vividly. It's not funny. Um, yeah, geez, they were fun, man. Um, yep, and you can see I tried to make like a purpley, like uh, part of their leftover flashes, like all, uh, you know, gross. So if you touch them, you'll be like diseased and whatnot, whatever. And uh, yeah, I love him to bits. And yet again, a lot of times with uh, the way I like to do skeletons, it doesn't always have to be bone white and all that stuff. This guy's been around a long flipping time, man. And his bones are uh, full of dirt and everything else. Um, I love him to bits. Um, I mean, like I said, uh, this is the way I paint. It's all dollar store paint, um, craft paint, blah, blah, blah. I love it. Um, yeah. He looks sweet. Oh, I could just love... Uh, so he would be in my like little RPG world. He would be like a mid-level recurring type enemy. Enemy, I would be sad if he um, got nailed right away. I'd be like, oh, man. But I actually tried to, in my little world, uh, pretend to be, that he was a skeleton warrior D&D uh, &D style. And if you see that little neck or the thing around his uh, waist, I tried to pretend that was where like he was able to reclaim his soul. Kind of thing and, and so uh someone else wasn't able to control him anymore but uh anyways that's it um i'm really oh, oh no it isn't i want to see if i'm going to try and make um the flip side the sticky bit i'm going to put where the counters are like the actual information for the counters and this is going to be the soft backing i'm going to see if i'm going to um i'm going to try that for tannenberg um for the can games one make it nice and simple for people to grab um i don't know like i said i'm going to experiment um, that's about it. Oh, no, actually, no. This thing as well, I just picked it up because it's a nice color. Uh, green's my favorite color. But I thought, you know what? These, maybe these religious candles, uh, are probably going to last a long time, I would assume. So I'm going to give it a shot. And if they do, well, God darn it. That means it, and it seems pretty darn safe. So, um, which I'm not very good with, with fire. So, uh, knock on wood, I shouldn't be saying these things because then I'm tempting it. Um, so that way, you know what I mean? I can see if like, if it only cost me $1.50. So if it goes on and on and on and on and on, that'd be freaking awesome. Uh, oh, and then that, uh, this uh, six eight sided die thing said I could uh, write on it and erase it and so on and so forth. So I was like, well, give it a shot. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, please, son, pop out a little bit. Okay, because I want to go and read. Okay, bye. See you later.